Hello everyone, it's Bernadette. Thank you for joining me again. I created this painting on the 23rd of June already and actually forgot to upload it. So I'm glad I'm having the opportunity to share it with you. I'm laying down my pillow paint. It's regular house paint and I've uh, stretched it across the canvas and now I'm just popping some air bubbles. I'm going to do a deconstructed bloom background first in this painting and so I'm laying down four puddles. My colors, I started with the oyster gray, then the cloud white, which is a very light gray actually. This is a light orange hue that I'm using and I will follow that with the sunshine yellow. The brands of paints that I'm using, I've listed in the description box below so you can check that out. My cell activators is a black and a white. I've made it with um, Amsterdam paint and Australian Floetrol. And I also give um, my ratios and my recipe uh, down in the description box as well. So because this is a deconstructed bloom background that I'm starting this painting off with, I'm going to blow out those puddles. So this, there's no sequence to blowing out these puddles. I merely wanted to fill up the entire surface of the canvas. So I'm stretching it as far as it can go across my pillow. And then I'm going to spin it out. I've been doing uh, a number of uh, bloom paintings in this technique and I really really love how the blooms create beautiful uh, backgrounds for modified blooms. So it's almost a dual bloom uh, technique that I do on these canvases and um, once I've stretched out these puddles across the surface of the pillow when you when you spin it you're actually stretching it out and it creates such a beautiful background for the modified blooms which i'm going to do on top if you haven't yet checked out my other videos please go and have a look at it um, they are really tutorials and i take you step by step through the process so um, i hope that it's going to add value to your acrylic fluid art journey So I'm pointing out where I'm going to lay down the uh, pillows for the modified blooms. So I add extra pillow paint to the canvas at this point and I'm starting the uh, laying down the colors with the beautiful metallic copper. That is a pigment. It's called Nacarat. Um, it's a mica powder actually. Um, then I'm coming in with a deep orange. And now I'm adding the light orange hue to the top and once again the sunshine yellow. So I've added a number of extra colors to the palette for the modified blooms. And I'm laying down the white and then the black cell activator here. I position my blow dryer directly over the, uh, the cell activators in order to create the cells and also to spread it over the colors. And once I've done that, I give it some time just to pull back into the center. And while that is uh, creating and doing its thing and creating some nice cells i start with a second puddle of my modified bloom and i lay down the colors in the same order first the copper then the nacarat which is a mica pigment and then i do the deep orange then i will do the light orange hue and again the sunshine yellow and i will continue and follow this process for all of the puddles that i will lay down on top of my background blow them out to 
release and create those cells and then I'm going to stretch it out to make some beautiful petals and then we will spin it out and modify it. So the modification is just the pulling of the paint from the outside to the inside uh, core of the bloom, uh, really separating the petals and giving it some beautiful definition. And then we will take the canvas for a spin. So I'm going to leave you to enjoy the rest of the video at this point. Please make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Go and have a look at the other videos that I've done with this technique. And I hope that you will try it out for yourself. So thank you for being here once again everyone. Take care and stay well. I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.